Hello everyone, V the Amazing Greek here. Uh, today we're doing a knife review. Today we're going to be reviewing the Adventurer Scout. It's toted as a survival knife. Uh, unfortunately with all the, the neat little things it has on it uh, and the little kit that comes with it, this is not a survival knife. Uh, these retail for about twenty dollars. You can get them online or in a store. I got mine uh, at a military surplus store for twenty dollars. Um, that's all they're really worth. Uh, it's not like an M Tech where you may or may not for twenty dollars get what you're expecting. This one is uh, is by no means a survival knife. Uh, the, one of the neatest things about this knife, the reason I bought it, really is the the case and stuff kind of got me, you know. Um, the case, the hard shell, has a built-in sharpener here glued on the back for field sharpening. Uh, it does have this here where inside the kit that comes with the knife, it has a uh, slingshot in here. And as part of the case, you know, now you have a slingshot for hunting a uh, small game. Uh, if you have any experience using a slingshot for that, it takes a little bit of practice. Uh, it does have the disc, quick disconnect on the uh, the back for putting it on and off belts quickly. Uh, it's got that style with the buttons for a quick on and off belt so you don't have to take your belt off. Uh, the knife itself is 440 stainless. Uh, it does have somewhat of a saw back, which actually is very good saw. Uh, the blade here, the notch it has, again, with the case, goes like this. Now in this loop right here, you're able to cut through uh, fencing, barbed wire, things like that. It's almost a... Uh, a military, pseudo military uh, attachment there. You know, uh, if you're crawling through a lot of fields with fences, you're probably close to civilization, so you might want to follow the fence uh, versus chop it up. But uh, the main drawback to this knife is the weak construction points. It is, of course, hollow handle, which almost any survivally guy would say, okay, I don't want that knife first off. Uh, it does have the compass in the back. Uh, pretty good free flowing. It does tend to get stuck every now and then. It's not a ball. It's actually a floating, uh, floating disc on a uh, stud. And then of course it's got your survival kit inside. Uh, this is a plastic sealed one. It's got a little piece of tinder cotton in here. Little stuff like. Uh, they got a little pencil. And of course, it's got one of those completely worthless wire saws that you, know, you can fold up, and after about 10 strokes, it gets hot and breaks. One of those basic rudimentary fishing kit, uh, probably about 10 foot of line, a couple sinkers, a couple of hooks. Uh, like I said, it's got a little pencil in there so you can make notes, you know, leave messages. Uh, the weakest part of this knife is right here. Uh, this blade only goes about this far into this handle. And this is a cast aluminum handle. And what they do is it's pressed in fairly, fairly tight. It's pressed. And then right here, the only thing holding this in besides the form is a spring pin, which is just a piece of metal rolled over and it can contract a little bit and you press it in there and that's what stops the blade from coming out that and the tight fit uh... when i first bought this and i saw that i was like well you know it's uh... not gonna hurt nothing really you know it's in there pretty good well the problem is my brother-in-law phil saw mine so he went and got one and he messed around with it in the yard all he was doing was yard cleanup nothing bigger than what i have in my hand right here this is all he was doing he had cut some limbs down, testing out the saw, which is very good. It's a, uh, it's very ag aggressive. I don't want to cut myself. But 
I mean, look at this right here, see? So, the saw works very well. That's how I cut mine when I put one on the back of the knife. Uh, just jagged edge. Um, it cuts good, but what he was doing when his knife broke, all he was doing was testing out, cutting like this, you know, cutting limbs, nothing heavy duty. And I'm a little bit scared to do it. And the knife handle actually the casting cracked and broke so uh, very weak construction uh, not made in China but Taiwan uh, like I said the, the blade is nice uh, the handle feels pretty good but it, it's just not survival you know even though you know in the kit the kit has all kinds of cool things in it uh, but it, it's just it's not worth the 20 bucks I had to put a piece of leather in mine to stop the blade from rattling around it comes with a little tool here that can be used as a fishing spear yeah, yeah a little fishing spear got a little bit of a point on it it's not really short uh, it's got a can opener and a screwdriver on it uh, this here is supposed to be your signaling mirror because it's a uh, uh, really really shiny on the back side you use it like a signaling mirror and then like I said you got a little bit of string to lash this spear onto a pole you've got your uh, rubber rubberized band for your slingshot attachment and you have one of those cheap little wire saws that actually if you use it you're just going to get pissed off. It's that thin wire stuff that used to come with those Rambo knives. That's not going to do any. I mean, you three, four strokes into trying to cut anything, it's going to break. So, uh, pretty much worthless kit. But, you know, 20 bucks, that's what you get. So, uh, don't go out getting one thinking now, you know, you can, you can survive in the wild because that is not what this knife is intended for. This is a good little uh, knife for Boy Scout to to learn with, you know, just how to handle a knife a little bit, but it's not, it's not going to save your life by no means, it's a fun little knife, I'm going to give this one to my daughter uh, to mess around with in the yard, but uh, that's my review of the uh, Adventure Scout, uh, I hate to say anything bad about, you know, knives and stuff, I love knives, but this just, you know, this is just, if you're going to collect, say, oh, I've got that one, fine, but don't, don't get this one and think, you know, you'll spend three days in the woods and everything's taken care of. So that's my opinion on this one. Uh, let me know if you agree, disagree, what you think. Uh, I'm V the Amazing Greek. Thank you for watching.